Hello, in this video we will set up Keasley and we will configure it using a Keasley code gen. So we get a fully type safe SQL query builder for TypeScript where we can infer all types from uh, SQL and from, uh, for example, Postgres or MySQL. So uh, let's get started. So if you want to find uh, more resources and information about Keasley, you can go to keasley.dev. I have set up my own repository called Keasley or Keasley slash pro. Uh, which will be the resource for uh, this uh, video and maybe future videos and uh, we'll use it right away because we will set up a docker uh, docker container with postgres so we get our first uh, database that we can use so i'll just go here copy uh, this file and uh, create a new uh, new file here a new file docker compose this will uh, give us a new Postgres database, uh, nothing fancy. Uh, let's see, yeah, so we do docker compose up. And uh, that one will create a new database for us quite quickly. And what I will use to connect to this database is a tool called Table Plus. Uh, it's free, so you can use it and just download it. And um, it's a pretty good tool. So uh, I will uh, connect to the new database here. Connect, select Postgres. Call this Keasley, uh, and I think Postgres password, Postgres. Uh, so we have the username is uh, Postgres, password is password, and uh, the database name is Postgres. So let's see if this works. Let's click text, test. Everything is green, that's usually a good sign. So let's connect, and we're connected, nice. Okay, so next thing, uh, we'll set up everything here. So we'll use p init. So p for me is a uh, alias for pnpm. You can use npm or yarn or anything else you want to you want to use. So whenever you see me use, uh, type p, it's short for pnpm. Okay, so uh, we have a package.json file here. Uh, next thing, we need to install some packages. Again, I will use the resource here and. I've Place it under episode one. I will copy everything here. I'm not using npm, so I will just copy the packages here and do p add like this. TypeScript, TS Node, um, Keasley, of course, and uh, pg, Keasley, CodeGen, and .env. Everything is installed. That's nice. Let's also uh, initialize TypeScript and Let's remove one thing here that's causing problems. Files, remove that, save, yeah, all good. Okay, we have uh, some packages installed. Next thing we will do is uh, set up uh, the Keasley CodeGen. So uh, what does the Keasley CodeGen do? It will look, um, you will give it, you will basically point it to a database. So in our instance, we will point it to the Postgres database we just created. And, and Keasley CodeGen will generate TypeScript types based on all tables and columns inside the database. So we need to do two things in order for this to work. We already installed the package. So now we need to add a script here. Let's do that first. Again, we have Keasley CodeGen. We call it CodeGen, so I'll just copy like, like this. And I'll move the test for now. And uh, okay, that's the first part. Coastly CodeGen dialect Postgres. Um, we can use other dialects like MySQL and um, uh, and others. Camel case means that we can uh, use snake case in our database, and uh, Keasley CodeGen will uh, convert the snake case to camel case in uh, TypeScript. So it's more convenient for JavaScript and TypeScript. And then we'll just put the file in source utils keasley types.d.ts. Keasley CodeGen will, um, the way it will uh, find the database to connect to is by a .env file and uh, a environment variable called database URL. So here we need to, speci uh, need to specify it. Uh, Copilot is pretty good here, but I think then it was po oops, post. Oh, whatever here. Postgres password local host. Yep, 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 yep. Postgres. So this is the same uh, connection string to the database we just created. Okay, now we have things set up. We should be able to run CodeGen now. So I'll do p CodeGen. Perfect. We introspected zero tables because we don't have any tables in our database yet. So things are working. 
Um, okay, let's fix this. Like we need some tables, right? To get this to work again. I'll come back here. Okay, I will actually jump to this step and copy um, the create table statement and go to table plus and click on SQL here and paste it and click run current. Okay, and then I will hit command R refresh. We have our blog post table here. It's nice and good. Now let's rerun the code gen script and we should introspect one table uh, that was generated. Okay, let's look at this now. So uh, we we um, we have the Kisly types now in the source utils Kisly types. This is what was generated. Now let's look at the actual SQL. Um, mm -mm, oh, I can't get this. Oh, I can maybe. Yeah, let's do let's do it like this. So we have. Um, create table uh, blog post you can see all the different columns and then you can see the types that was generated and you see it's um, yeah it's a one-to-one -one match uh, except that uh, we like things like is underscore published uh, becomes is published with camel case uh, but other than that uh, we have the types here we have boolean we have string we have timestamp we have numbers and uh, this correspond to the different types in uh, in postgres so that's perfect. Now let's do the next step here, which is to copy uh, the code here and uh, create a new file called, oh, what happened? Not folder, uh, db.ts. Uh, so this is um, the db object we will use to uh, connect and uh, do queries to the database. We have a camel case plugin, Kisly, we, we use Postgres. Uh, we import the types that was automatically generated uh, and a few other, other things. And um, we'll use the database URL here as well, so we can use it for both um, the CodeGen and the Kisly. And uh, what we should be able to do now is create a new file here uh, called main.ts. Let's put this in source. Ooh, yep. So we have utils and then we have main, and then we do async uh, function main. Let's do console log hello world, so make sure it works. And in package, I will do start. Let's see if it's yeah, almost. Uh, so now we will be able to run this main file. Let's see, p start. Should say hello world, it does. Perfect, let's go back to main. Now let's do our first query. So we do um, const posts. What do we have here? We have uh, blog posts and we don't have anything here. So let's try to get uh, blog posts equals await mm -hmm, right, db.select. Let's, we need to be able to import this. Okay, first thing here. So here we get some auto completion here. That's really good. We can do insert into, we can do a bunch of things, but we will do select from which is what you do for when you want to select. And here you see we have autocomplete. So we have blog posts and we can just enter and it's all good. Now Kisly will be, uh, it will uh, be mad at you if you try to select from some table that doesn't exist. So you need to uh, use the one that exists. So from, from the Kisly type we generated. Next, next thing we want to specify what columns select. So we do select, we can do select all. Um, I always do select with an array here, so I specify each column. And again, you, we get auto completion. We can do ID is published, likes, etc. I will do ID and title. Uh, title, if I can spell it right, um, yep. Okay, we, and then in the end we do execute. So we actually execute the query. And uh, let's do console, yep, let's do console blog posts. Okay, P start. Let's see what we get. We get an empty array, which is what we expect because we don't have any data in this uh, table. So let's try to solve that. We'll just, I think we can do something like this because we have default values on, on everything. So now we have one row in our database and we will simply rerun this. There we got our first uh, data again uh, from our database. And uh, just to make sure it actually worked, let's do test, one, two, three, save. And there we have it. 
We have um, we have Kisly set up. We have uh, Kisly codegen set up. We have created a select statement using Kisly. Uh, and it's a type type safe uh, type safe query. And um, as you might expect, like if we try to select some other column that doesn't exist, it will give us uh, an error. So we actually like we're forced to do the right thing, which is to use a column that actually exists in the database. Now it will be uh, happy and we will be able to run our query. Okay, so we were successfully um, able to query the database like this. Perfect, we got uh, the SQL uh, query here, or yeah, it's, it becomes an SQL query, but we got the query here. We get the data back here. Now let's look at what we actually get back. So let's do blog post posts and yeah let's do a for each and then we have post dot okay now this is where a Kisly TypeScript is super powerful you see we only selected ID title and created at and this is exactly what we have here and um, as soon as I uh, change this up here like let's say I remove created at instantly uh, TypeScript will understand that okay now we only have ID and title on this object so this is why it's so uh, this is why I think Kisly is so powerful. It uh, it enables you to write uh, basically SQL, uh, but you get like these nice uh, features that you get, uh, that you want when you write code in TypeScript. So um, yeah, this is it. Uh, we can also hover over here. We see okay, this is a blog post with ID title is string or or null, and it's an array. So everything is nicely typed. And we're able to query our database very nicely here. So um, yeah, very beautiful, I think. All right, that's it for uh, this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.